Hi and welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the time and date on the G-Shock GA100. So let's get started. From the standard timekeeping mode, press and hold the adjust button over here until this upper uh, digit part of this digital screen starts to blink. And here we go, pressing, holding and let go. Now what you see over here is my uh, time zone basically flashing. I'm gonna zoom in for you to have a better scene. Now it's hard to see from the hour hand but it says Rome. Rome. Uh, that is for the Rome time zone. To change your time zones you can do it by pressing the reverse or forward button. So now when I want to change it I'm shuffling between my time zones over here. So there you go you see Madrid, Paris, Rome, Berlin and so on. So using these two buttons you can shuffle between the time zones. I'm gonna get it back to Rome. Once you're done with your time zone or your home city press the mode button over here and the flashing uh, is now saying DST turned off. I'm sorry that you cannot see it from the hour hand but over here it says the DST. By pressing the forward button you can shuffle DST or the daylight saving time mode on or off. So by pressing the forward button, you shuffle it between on or off. In my time zone, DST is currently turned off, so I'm gonna leave it at off. Once you're done with that, press the mode button over here, and you can see over here that the 24 hour is flashing. Now we are in the mode of setting our uh, time frame or 12 or 12, 24 hour time format. You can shuffle between 12 or 24 by pressing the forward button over here. So 12 and 20, 24. I'm gonna leave it at 24 hour time format or military time as they call it. Once you're done with that, press the mode button once again and you have your seconds flashing. Now you cannot set the exact value of seconds but what you can do is reset that value by simply pressing the forward button. It will reset the seconds to zero. So here we go, pressing the forward button and it reset them to zero. Once you're done with your seconds value, press the mode button once again and now you have your hours flashing over here. If the time is not correct uh, and it should be when you adjust your time zone or your home city, you can manually adjust your hour value by pressing the reverse button or forward button. So the reverse button will decrease it and uh, the forward button will increase the value of hours. Once you're done with that, press the mode button once again and it is exactly the same procedure for the minutes. Pressing the reverse or forward button over here will increase or decrease the value of minutes. Once you're done with the minutes, press the mode button once again over here and now you have your year flashing over here. It says 2022 and it is correct but if you want to change it again press the reverse button to decrease the value or forward button to increase the value of year. The procedure is exactly the same for uh, the uh, next value. So when I press the mode button you have the month flashing over here and it is January so as well as the year you can increase or decrease that value by pressing the reverse or forward button. Once you're done with your month value press the mode button once again and now you have your day value flashing over here. It says number 9 and it is flashing. To increase or decrease that value press the reverse or forward button. Once you're done with that press the mode button once again and what it says over here it says LT3. This stands that when I press the illumination button over here uh, the, the face of the watch will stay lit on for 3 seconds. But you can change it by pressing the forward button and now it says 1. So when it stands 1 it means that the watch face will, be, will stay illuminated when I press the illumination button for one and a half seconds. So basically by pressing the forward button you can shuffle between one and a half seconds of illumination duration and three seconds of illumination duration. Once you're done with that press the mode button and basically we are now back to the beginning and setting our home city value. 
and those are the basics of setting the time and date on this watch. Once you're done and you want to implement those settings, simply press the adjust button and now you're back and the watch has implemented all of those settings we have just ran through. Thank you very much for watching and if you are into watch related content, please subscribe. So thank you.